Waikato farmers John and Debbie Morby completed a major redevelopment of their dairy farm to improve efficiency and lift production. At the heart of it all is an 80 bale centrus composite rotary parlour made by Waikato Milking Systems. We spoke to John and Debbie to find out what advantages and benefits the new milking parlour has delivered to their dairy operation. We bought the neighbour's farm and um, so we, the idea was to put on a big sheet at some stage. We did a first season in the two sheds. Um, we milked 640 and a 44 aside on the home farm and then the new farm had a 24 aside um, and we milked 460 through that. It was tying up five people to milk, then when we needed time off we were looking for relief milkers. Debbie ran the roster and... Yeah, so we had three people travelling in um, to cover time off. At different yeah, times, different yeah. Times, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess it was um, staff and time efficiency. Something that we'd been thinking about for some time, even before we purchased the neighbour's farm, we actually went for a trip to the South Island and looked at several sheds down there, the 80 bale sheds down there, because there's more to see down in Canterbury. Um, and that just gave us a good idea of you know, what we sort of needed here, yeah, and what was going to work best here for us. Ken and Paul and I and Debbie, we sat down on two or three occasions and went through what we were going to put into the shed and um, so we were aware of what was going to be happening, the costs and, and um, when and what time those things were going to be added into the, the whole setup. And then the Cubic Boys just came in, a strong team of, we, we had up to half a dozen young men here at, um, working, working long hours just to get it in and obviously there's a lot to putting in an 80 bale and you know they, they really put in the hours and, and did it for us, so it's great. Every morning there'd be a meeting, wouldn't there? Like you would, you, John would finish milking in the old cow shed and then he'd come over and there'd be a meeting and they'd talk about what was going to happen for the day. So everyone knew where they were, yeah. I think a big benefit um, with this build is that a lot of the um, businesses have worked together before so they just know what each other's doing, yeah. They have a good understanding of each other. Made the whole process a lot easier. We just felt that with an 80 bale, there's a lot of weight on it. This option of the Centris just took a lot of that weight out. Better for the rollers and hopefully long term we'll get more out of the shed. Um, so we went that way and you know, it's brilliant. We wanted to set this up to have two people in the cow shed. So we work at that, there's two putting cups on and there's no one around the other side. So um, we had to have things that were going to take care of the other side for us. Yeah, well, I think the, the smart spray in particular, the cows, you know, they can be sprayed pretty much straight away so you're not worrying about the variables of them, you know, teats closing and then, you know, not being sprayed in time. So, yeah, it's better for the cow. This cow should show us the efficiency of your staff and then the time management of staff. Um, so now, like, we can have three people it, it takes to milk, like two will be milking one we're getting a herd in, um, whereas before that was five people as well mm. as having to have the release staff. They love it, eh? Um, the whole setup, the, the, the good, the easy cleaning of it, 1140 cows and most of the cows had to be pushed on at least once. But um, within shed feeding, um, honestly, it's three to four milkings the cows were away. All staff are, seem quite happy and will be staying on, so it's mm. fantastic. Waikato Milking Systems, they're a world-renowned company. Um, there's a, they're proven, there's a lot around. They're close to the farm and they've got a, a good strong team of guys and they're only ever a phone call away. When we first started milking, the 15th of July was our first milking in here. Um, we had um, a cubic guy and a Waikato rep here um, that had been a part of the installation. They, um, they were here for three or four days, um, each milking, just tweaking little things, listening for different things, but they're only ever a phone call away. I think for us the important thing is a lot of the businesses we've used have all worked together before on quite a few sheds, so I think it's been a really big thing, hasn't it? It made yep. it, the process really smooth. Yeah. yeah. yeah.